NDC or more flag bearer for 2024 elections, John Dramani Mahama. Wakana Jane, Mahama Wabo Gumbi, and also Parliament. Baby so warm or see or set the record straight. What is a man for Ken Sembi? Nicholas Omani E. Champon, Wajene Dier. Ken Ofuriata, former finance minister, Wajene Dier. National Cathedral Homes and Samso. Mahama, while drop a bomb. Yabako and some of the moon to details. Mashawa. So we'll be share video we now be share what you are in comment section ho. Afriex mobile money app and I'm a recommend the amount. Who is UK, Canada, US, any part of the world that will be ano. Send this cable PM or Ghana or move rate. Aye, strong kokra. Interesting thing they say. What sign here up with the promo code TRANSGHR. For first transaction, I'll be ano. Aye, above one hundred and fifty dollars in Kwanza. We need problem. We'll be here twenty dollars bonus. And with the master wa sign up with the promo code TRANSGH. Andra NDC or more flag bearer for 2024 elections. O miti a media ni yina ne say journalist or more Ghana or Mumbra na or Mumbi send a question. Way any bibia a new because Mekai say during President of four time or no and or started this media encounter. If I'm not mistaken, a didim atamos by a or no repeat the same thing. John Ramani Mahama by or repeat the same thing. Nana or down quick for our by I think say we have a back up if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, John Dramani Mahama, Endra, and also media for no mumbra. Mumbe be sent a question. Answer me, I'm here no, but the mamma. So, Ubeke, ya recently, ya uh, Nicholas Omani a champon, and a uh, Nana B, and a uh, I think say, what I'm after Brinano or Marcus. So, John Dramani Mahama on supportive free SHS, and with John Dramani Mahama, Sagana for to Abama no be the president, uh, Obecha free SHS mo. So, Endra, journalist Bakum Bisa Mahama, ni take. On a free SHS. And Mahama answer no. <laughs> Nicholas or Mani Champo. Mahama is so new. <laughs> you go. My position on free SHS is known. In 2015, I launched progressive free SHS. That's what the constitution says. The only difference between us and MPP is the approach. We thought that we should put the infrastructure in place and we should do the necessary preparation to uh, absorb the free SHS. And so we started with day students. We made it free for day students. And in the second year, we absorbed 120,000 students on the free SHS. Nanado himself lauded me. It's there in the media. Just if I had my phone here, I would Google it. He said, Nanado lords Mahama's uh, free SHS. It's there. UNESCO, you know, uh, uh, congratulated us for launching the free SHS. How can a person who launched free SHS be against free SHS? And so it's a political gimmick that is played by our opponents. Free SHS has come to stay. <laughs> and nobody can roll it back. All we are saying is let's improve the implementation. Let's take away the bottlenecks. Let's work to abolish the fast track. Let's be able to feed the children better by decentralizing the school feeding, the uh, free SHS school feeding program. So those are all the kinds of initiatives we are thinking about. But we can only take that decision if we come together as stakeholders and discuss freely the challenges that it faces. My commitment is to improve it. And so that political gimmick, if he comes, he will cancel free SHS. And I've seen some Osofu too going around and repeating the same thing. I don't know if he's... <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he's also gone around repeating that same tired, hackneyed, you know, political propaganda. I am committed to free SHS. I was the one who launched free SHS in this country, and free SHS has come to stay. Parkway si Paka Wilson, he was an RJ microphone, or yes, oh, Mahama, me wa question, ma'am, what's your woba over fight to corruption, corruption? Now, so a man for a kase, wo, 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 and on a John Romani Mahama say, Oh, Paco is Paka Wilson. Sa, and your mama will answer. Now, what dare a NPP? What dare an adult? Obu baby or hot, Nabena Obu, you know. A lot of allegations were thrown against me. I've been out of office for seven years and seven months. You think that if this government had anything they could stand on with how they hate my persona, they would not have prosecuted me for it. Airbus, the president referred it to the OSP, and the OSP is supposed to investigate it. You don't expect me to investigate myself. And so, if they had something to stand on, I'll not be standing here today. 
The same thing, hotel in Dubai. I challenged them. I said, let's go and find that hotel. I myself am in need of money. We'll find it. We'll sell it. You give me my small share and government can take the rest. Till today, $10 million for diaries. President Akufuado himself said it, that my government has spent $10 million to import diaries. They've been in office for 7.7 .7 years. Where is the $10 million for diaries? And so I've challenged the MPP and the mud slinging and the lies they've told about me at every juncture to come up with proof of the allegations and prosecute me. If they have any allegations that they could prove, they would have done so by now. It's just a political gimmick. When elections are coming, then they start raising all kinds of issues and all that kind of thing. But I remain focused. My commitment is to fight corruption. And if I come into office, I'll hold their administration to the high standard of accountability. And those who serve in my administration would also be measured by the same yardstick. Yes, the next journalist I will be sa question. Hey, Umaru Sanda, City FM. No, it's him. Oh, Mahama, CCI, a National Cathedral. This is the most expensive hole in the world. I am a Bian Oba, Dane and Obey on this National Cathedral. Oba cover, Oba convert, and as Oba complete. I am a Christian and I belong to the Assemblies of God Church. Ordinarily, building a house of God is something that we all do. I contributed monies in my local Assemblies of God branch to build our church. And it's created an environment for us to praise and worship our God. But I don't condone stealing in the name of God. And that is what has happened in the case of this National Cathedral. It is instructive that members of the Board of Trustees, some of the members of the Board of Trustees, have resigned and they have called for a forensic audit of the National Cathedral. I'm not saying it. Members on the Board believe that fraud has been perpetrated against the people of Ghana and they are calling for a forensic audit. At the time this National Cathedral came up, it was somebody's personal commitment to God. And we are sure that public funds were not going to be used for the National Cathedral. Unfortunately, we hear that 300 and something million has gone into it. Where did those payments go? Were they justified? Who did they go to? These are all things that we have to unravel. And I think that that is the first thing we do before we even decide what to do with that huge pit. And so first, let's investigate and do a forensic audit. And if people have, you know, illegally and unlawfully taking the monies of the people of Ghana, they must be made to uh, re 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 refund those monies. And so that's the first thing I'll do with regards to the cathedral. And for Captain Kobio Smart, will be a question. So, watch your microphone also. you. John Dramani Mahama, I have a question now. I am here to no state capture. I am here in Penifu. And I am here in Kasa. Or from here in Sase. And I am here in Japadiano. Mahama, I am here in the day. And 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 I am here in the day. Now, I am here in the day. I am here in the day. I am here in the day. Afa and Nasa Omevia, I just say a year or mine a Japa dear, ah, Omofa, Omafano, a band day. Ems and Macan will be brave, none we are me call la. Now la for no omusu, because Omasa si be brave, a bind ye, set a day ye be be, and then my and my dreams are more fine ye bium. Now and ran a chess, I say, also won't find ye a won't won't pass us as an in yet a dear would ye yen in tea. Um, fine, you buma. I was say, Uma, as a seno, as an co, eh, eh, near or the assassin of Mao. And they can say, La Wireless, make I say, President Kufo, FAB, forty per cent, EDC, African Union Village, because now, yeah, be yeah, African Union Summit or her. Ain't it now, cast sixty per cent of La Wireless land, and they call Hokoshe, Yache, as a senafa, without consultation with the stakeholders. Make I say, Abra Professor Mills, by International Students Hostel near Chedi in Afa. Professor Mills by or just has us in the back and then a whole foreign ministry. AC, Sasa Senus on a foreign ministry. Ain't he say Wafa Abaya Japadia or Quinsoa, Emrano Empenia, 
Yebesa repossessing on behalf of the people of Ghana. And there are no air commitment, I just say, may ye at them. Fast forward, and a cafe day, a duny ten hours you. Mahama, or ba, den, and all by ye on galam say. Na a whole and a Mahama, punch lines in beer, or to two niche nibidon. A one of us, hm, and some of Afyan San, ye Sunday bass ye. Galam say is a problem of compliance. We have all the laws, we have everything. It's the enforcement that is the problem. And the enforcement is a problem because those who should be enforcing it are part of the problem. Today, DCs and ministers all have small scale concessions, and I am doubting and I'm saying. And that's why I said, any person who serves in my government, if you want to be a gold, small scale gold miner, go and be a small scale gold miner. If you're a DC, be a small scale gold miner. Don't take public office under my administration. And so we're not going to countenance having any of our ministers or our political appointees involved in small-scale gold mining so that we can enforce the laws properly. We're going to ban mining in forest reserves. As for that, it's not negotiable. The law that was amended to allow people to go into foreign forest reserves, the law that was amended to let people enter forest reserves to do mining will be re-amended to stop it. Because the figures I'm getting are frightening. And that is why the climate change is real, because our dry seasons are getting harsher, because all the forest reserves have been invaded by mining companies. And it's insightful that in the past, somebody who was supposed to protect the forest, he himself uh, uh, eventually was known to own about two or three mining companies that had been given permission to go into forest reserves. The next person will be asked a question, Eyo Kujo Yangsen of multimedia and will be sa a year John Ramani Mahama say Mahama na me poche wo galam se yesa yachi omu atu prison no anye nye bia no uba uba grante omu amnesty ana ana se omu kese wo omu repente e nunti ube yi omu every prison and my answer is yes because those who are in prison for galam se are not the actual perpetrators of galam se the big kingpins are not in prison those who are in prison are the small boys that they employ to work on their Galamsey concessions. And so they are victims of circumstances. And so if we are coming with a new fight against Galamsey, let's start by giving them a the, let's bring them out, reform them, and do the things that will make them not go and do what they've done again. If it's somebody must be in prison, it's those district chief agencies and ministers and others who are doing the Galamsey, not the people they are employing. So on your FM, any on your TV, ya titi, any busma, you do not turn out. Obisa no question. Now, how na man for chuma debi? Where your agenda pa? Because we share ya titi, the way you are put your question no. Any baby a Mahama, odi na mana. Ya titi no question na Obisa ya no. Eh eh tax, eh report. Na Mahama ne answer ni muno. Ba umia wajede di. Ya titi at the back. Me pa be chogo di even me kachi. And your excellency, me pacho me question no yanu bo chi, mame, pacho with all permission. Port, yet you have taxi biya sebe sebe nyan senim. And then Toyota Viz, unkita seventy to eighty thousand wins me to. I don't know why we are here. Enti me pacho di na wobe ye because ye bre. Yangu ani omai a ewo ya si he ni na a echese yare aba eko. Ah, yeji ye tro, efasa ya reno, COVID levy. COVID aba, eko, China bibia, COVID e frimpo, ye mji omu COVID levy. And so gana kwa ni eji COVID levy. And tisa an yoma no oshe emissions tax, any sa taxes ni na, e ye troa, abayi edi tru ye, so set, as a result of IMF agreement ha, omwa ye. And tisa no bika se, oh, me ba, me cha e tro numu. Who are buying muses here? So, wait to make a chatron more. Shasse, nature, a number to a tron number from near whom. Men can say, Oh, Montoma, me answer, me ba, sa a toy, me ye if you home. One of the reasons Uncle Fuesu, and he said, This week, Uber Cop, now currency, no, yes, Bank of Ghana say currency, no, exchange rate near say, and this at one on your bed you were pot. The next week, Uber Cop, Nasidi, a free, a fourteen, about fifteen. It is our turn now. Be clear in see this, you know. Next, I say a cost row. Into one of the priorities of government will be to stabilize the currency and stabilize the economy. Send a bayer, Obia, Asombe, Jono.
Now, before I ever call Ken Ufuriata, I need to know. And one one journalist, it was your friend of Ufuriata. I see our question, Emma Mahama. The journalist, no. On your phone, you didn't have to say. Your Excellency, my name is Ufuriata. <laughs> Please, I'm the innocent one. I'm not the notorious one. <laughs> Don't be scared at all. I'm not a notorious one. <laughs> Some times passed. A member of this government died. And in his will, it became known that he had devised a plot of land in Achimota Forest for a relative. As if that was not enough. Now, there is a problem between the organized labor and government in respect of uh, state hotels which are on the verge of being given to a cabinet minister. Achimota Forest and looting of uh, state lands and others have said that no person who accepts to serve in my administration will be allowed to buy any state assets. When you finish serving and you go and you want to do whatever, it's your palaver. But as long as you are an appointee under my administration, uh, buildings, lands, vehicles uh, that belong to the state, you are not going to be allowed to buy or invest in any state asset. Thank you. So, journalist Bakuna Obisa John Dramani Mahama said, Mahama, Mwana Mose Danaro Danko Kufuado, on Reshafo Ken Ufuriata, former finance minister. Wa Reshafo no, but journalist Ayawagana, Yashe ni Mwana Mahama, enya dia, wubo Nanaro Danko Kufuado, Nabaso. Where na Mahama said, yeah. Mahama versus Nanado Danko Ekufuado, any Ken Ufuriata. We were advocating for the reshuffling of the finance minister because from as far back as 2019, we could predict what was going to happen. A finance minister comes into office and all he knows is to borrow on the international capital markets. And not only because that's all he knows, but also he benefits from the borrowing. Conflict of interest. His company, Data Bank, any time government borrowed, received commissions on the borrowing. And so that was an incentive to borrow. So is it any surprise that in six years, this finance minister borrowed $13.5 billion from the uh, Eurobond market? With all the projects and infrastructure I invested in, in my time in office, the total amount I borrowed from the Eurobond market in the four years was $3.5 billion. In six years, this minister had borrowed $13.5 billion. And that is what has put us in the situation in which we are. And if even that money had been put into productive use and infrastructure, we will not be sitting here and lamenting about this country. But most of that money went into consumption and into dubious projects that have brought no return to this country. And so if the president had reshuffled him earlier, we would not be in this mess that we are. MPP has very capable uh, people. The only reason the president kept him in that office and refused to shuffle him is because he was his cousin. So you ask me, why haven't I congratulated the president for reshuffling the minister? The distraction has been done. In English, they say it's bolting the stable after the horses have escaped. When the man has finished uh, kaputting the economy, you then remove him, and then you say, I should clap for you. I won't clap. <laughs> I won't applaud him. He should have done that much earlier. Ophoyata should have been out of that office in 2019, not at the time that he made him leave. Master wa say she video we na afro so ensa nkb na chere wa dwema me e wo comment section ho me din e de kojo black makrao sending money abroad just got a whole lot easier with afrix a slick app makes international transfer crazy fast and super secure just tap a few buttons money sent across the globe in minutes one magic of AfriX is that you can add your debit card or load money to your AfriX wallet right in the app. Then send those funds to your recipients overseas straight to their bank account at lightning speed and zero fees. You can earn a one-time bonus of $20 if you refer your friends and they send up to $150. Whether you're in the USA, Canada, Europe or anywhere in the world, AfriX. Best rates at no cost with no hidden fees.